Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday night about 6 o'clock. I just wanted to do an update on my bronchitis. It's, um, I'm a little bit better. I guess I would say about 5% better. Um, so I finished the antibiotic. I still have some of the, um, let's see, this is the Mucinex sinus and cold medicine. So I have I've cut back instead of taking two every six hours, I just sort of take them one, and then I'm taking one Mucinex just uh, twice a day. I think I was taking too much because I was getting too, too, um, I don't know. I, it, I, I just didn't feel right by taking that much of it. I thought I was just overdosing. So I wanted to show you all. I ran over to the Ideal Market on the corner this morning and bought some more ingredients for <clears throat> soup. I made this soup earlier in the week and <laughs> ate every bit of it. It was so good. Y'all remember the ham that I bought for $8 back around Thanksgiving <clears throat> and had a lot of it left over because it was so salty? Well, I froze it. I'll show y'all how I froze it. Y'all <clears throat> might freezers full of uh, Pepsi bottles with water, frozen water in them. Still have a lot of food left from Will's shipment. I have my salmon and shrimp. Anyway, I put it in my the vacuum sealer. So I've been putting that and a couple of chicken thighs in with the uh, to make the soup to make a nice good broth. That's why I love for my chicken thighs to have skin on them because, you know, when you get sick, you'll need that skin for a nice, healthy, fatty broth. So I put two chicken thighs in here. I've got my two forks here so I can get that shredded up. And then I put two big carrots, uh, parsley. This is Italian parsley couple of bay leaves, a lot of garlic, an onion, and then I bought a carton of chicken broth. So, and then I added, um, I put the ground turmeric in it, <coughs> some lean parents, a little salt, garlic powder, I put a dash of Tabasco, a couple of bay leaves in it, See what else, and a little bit of Tony Chasseries. Not much, because like I said before, the ham was salty, so it really didn't need much salt added to it. So this will be my dinner for the next couple of nights. And I'm just gonna continue to do what I've been doing, and that's um, using the nebulizer. I've cut back to that uh, three times a day. Uh, so I'm using the nebulizer and um, still drinking a lot of water. I prefer to fill my Pepsi, my used Pepsi bottles with water because I don't like the Poland Spring bottles. They're too flimsy and they crumple up in my hand. <laughs> so let's see, what else have I done? Still using my um, saline spray. This lasts a long time. And I have my, the Vicks vaporizer there. I had been taking it into the living room and using it during the day, but for the last couple of days, I've just decided to use it at night. Uh, so that's about it. I'm almost out of the vapor steam. You know, I don't even smell this. I don't even know if it's really working. I wish I had a little jar of that, um, it was a little tiny jar that Jill has that someone from Trinidad gave her. They're made in Trinidad. Uh, it's little menthol crystals. What you do, you boil those in a pot of water and then you hold your head over that with a towel draped over your head and then you breathe that steam. <clears throat> so I bought more honey. Um, there's not a lot to choose from at that little ideal market, but they have the Goya honey, and it's seven ninety nine, which I thought was a fair price. Um, so I've been um, 
So I bought a nice big ginger root and then some more lemon. So I just peel the ginger and I take a slice off of it and I put it in, um, I put it underneath the lemon slice in here because if you put the ginger root just by itself, this doesn't really press down far enough to squeeze the juice out of it. So I put the ginger root, a slice of the ginger root in first and then the lemon wedge on top. And that way it squeezes the lemon wedge and the ginger, the juice out of the ginger root. And I make my tea in here. I've already got it fixed for my coffee in the morning, but I just put a Louisiana tea bag, a family size tea bag in there. And then I measure the cup, have a little bit of tea left. You can see my little bit of ginger root in there. So I fill this up with filtered water and pour it through and it makes a perfect cup of hot tea for me. Sometimes I make my iced tea like that. I'll just brew me a cup and then put it in the fridge or put ice in it. And So I still have some um, fruit left, a few cherries and blueberries. That's about it, y'all. I've just been sitting up here in this recliner and watching YouTube videos and trying to get caught up on everybody's, all of my friends out there who have YouTube channels. I don't know who this is that's parking in the number two, but she she parked so close to my car. I have to make sure when I leave and come back that I don't park too close because she wouldn't be able to get into her car. Maybe she's foresighted or something. I don't know what her problem is. So these are my new curtains. I don't even remember if I told y'all that I bought new curtains, but I got them on sale at Bosco's online. They were $9.99 a panel. And they are beautiful. <laughs> I just love them. They are light blocking and noise blocking. So I'm looking forward. I don't have a step stool. Uh, Jill is going to bring hers. And then I'll be removing. Y'all, the bulb is out. And both bulbs are blown out in my bedroom. And I don't have a step stool to replace the light bulbs, but I will be removing those. And then um, Jill's gonna bring your step stool over and help me, and then I will hang the new curtains up there. Hopefully that will help me to sleep better at night because my neighbors do still play uh, volleyball out there at night. And then this is the new bed skirt that I purchased from Bosco's. I think it was on sale for about $11.99 or $12.99. Like I told y'all in another video, it's the kind that goes on top of the the bottom mattress. So anyway, I've got to go shopping as soon as I get well. <laughs> Pick out my new recliner. This one has just about collapsed on the floor. <clears throat> I'm going to go to, Husani's going to buy it for me from P.C. Richards, but the P.C. Richards that I went to in Garden City, um, they only have the ones that are the floor models, and and they're expensive. I, I don't want one that everybody's been sitting in. I want a new one from the warehouse. So he told me to go to the P.C. Richards where he shops, which is in another town. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll be I'll be going over there as soon as I get well. So this is just an update. Y'all, um, Chris over at Haywood Homestead has begun making videos again. So I'm looking forward to going over and watching his video tonight. He's doing his February budgeting. So y'all just go over and... Um, Watch him. You can learn a lot from Chris and his budgeting videos. So I just wanted to give y'all a quick update. I hope y'all are well and healthy. And if you're sick, I just want to wish you get well wishes very soon. And y'all just keep on coming back. Bye, guys.